With temperatures on the rise in the Tampa Bay area, child safety advocates are working to prevent more hot car deaths. News Channel 8's Jamel Linnae joins us now live from Pinellas County, where Jamel, you witnessed just how fast the inside of a vehicle can heat up. I did, and let me show you. So I put this th thermometer in my vehicle uh, when it was about maybe, say, 80, 85 degrees. So my windows are still rolled up, and about 30 minutes later, you can see where the temperature is right now. Now, doctors say that a child could die if the body temperature reaches at least 107 degrees. Tara Medford enjoys bringing her boys to Largo Central Park. Before her second son was born, hot car deaths was something she thought about. My first one, it was definitely more, I was more worried about it, hearing different stories. Um, so it was very fearful. Medford says she would leave herself reminders. I like to leave my purse in the back seat with the kids and along with the diaper bags. With temperatures peaking, child safety advocates are spreading the word. Unfortunately, we live, live in a hot state, so it's important that we ha get the hyperthermia message out there earlier. Hyperthermia is also known as heat stroke, and it is the non-crash related cause of death for children. On April 3rd in Brevard County, police say Emily Hartman left her 14-month-old in the vehicle while she drank at a bar and then drove around to buy drugs. Last week in Escambia County, a two-year-old died after being left in a car while her mother went inside the house to sleep. The child was discovered more than 12 hours later. It's your own car and your own experience. It doesn't take long for it when it's outside in the sun for the temperature to rise quite significantly. So advocates say you want to set some kind of reminder or some kind of habit for yourself, like maybe leaving your purse in the back seat with the child or even maybe setting an alarm on your phone and if you have a babysitter or a caregiver you want to maybe try to set up some kind of calling or texting plan with them so this way you know where your child is at all times in pinellas county jamel and a news channel 8.